Get up, lion. There, now, get up on the desk. That's a good lion, now. Now, hold, hold it. Stay, stay. Hey, Mulligan! Stand back where it is safe. Whilst I, Safari, stand, capture the king of the beasts, single-handed. No, thank you, Bugawamba. I won't need my gun. I will take this lion with my bare hands. Victor Roberts is a wonderful actor. The lion's not doing bad either. We will now settle the question of which is stronger. Man... A beast. Hold it a minute, Victor. I uh, just thought of a bit of business I think we could insert in the scene. Just a minute, Charles. Have you fellas got a good grip on that lion over there? Everything's under control. He can't make a move. Now, don't be nervous, Victor. This is a very reliable lion. I can't help it, Charles. You know, the two hundred of these jungle television shows, and this is the first time I've ever worked with a real live lion. That's why your rating has dropped. People are tired of watching you fight to the death with a stuffed lion. I don't trust that beast. Can't we talk this over out in the hall, huh? Very well, Victor. Lunch. Wrap up the lion. Come on. Yeah. You're doing fine, Victor. This realism is going to give new life to the series. Do you really think so? Oh, the shoulders on that man. Mm, the shirt makes him look good. I think Victor Roberts is perfect for the part, don't you? I'd like to do that someday. were finally rewarded. So this was the jungle. <sighs> I'd been on safari for six torturous months. Yes, my... my porters had deserted me. And I had to go it alone. Through the jungle wasteland. <sighs> we finally meet face to face. The man killer of the Congo and bring him back breathing mulligan. Ah, don't smile at me that way. You know, when you finally met your master. These, if these bars could only let me inside. If I could get my hands on you, you'd be a throw rug in my den. But one day, you won't be in there where it's safe. And then, and then, beware. It's time to go back to work. Excuse me. Gone. I knew this would happen someday. The catch on this gate was nearly shut. But don't worry, he's probably lying down behind the scenery someplace. Jackie boy, Jackie babykins. You and your realism. You're responsible for this whole nightmare, Charles. Stuffed lions weren't good enough for you, eh? So now you've endangered the life of everyone in the entire city. Don't be silly. That lion isn't dangerous. Come on, baby. Papa's calling. Well, he's not backstage. Uh, he isn't dangerous, is he? Well, not when I'm with him, but you can't tell how he might act out in the world by himself with everybody chasing after him. Oh, great. What worries me is that uh, Jackie hasn't had any lunch yet. Is that bad? Well, it ain't good. You cost me every penny I had left in this week's budget. But you're mine. Oh, mine. Hi, Mom. Oh, hello, dear. So you know what happened today at the studio? Oh, Michael, look what I did. Gee, that, that, that's a big one, nice one, isn't it? But you know what happened at the studio well, today? first, let me tell you, you what wouldn't... happened at the meat market. The moment I walked in the door, I saw this magnificent bargain. It was love at first sight. Mom, don't you want to hear what I happened I said to at the myself, studio? Nell Mulligan, you must be out of your mind to think of paying so much for a leg of lamb. But I couldn't help it. I did it, and I'm glad. Mom, you well, wouldn't believe this'll last believe us for what... ages. Roast leg of lamb tomorrow night, cold lamb the next night, or lamb casserole the night after that, and then maybe lamb shish kebab, lamb patties. <laughs> 
Hello, Nell. Hi, son. Hiya, Pops. Oh, hello, dear. I just have time to grab a bite. I'm going to get back on duty right away. Mom, would you like to hear now what happened Excuse today? me, Michael. Uh, Joe, you overlooked something. It's a snack of anything. Anything but lamb. I had lamb stew for lunch today, and I don't want to look at lamb again for a week. Looks like I goofed. Look, look, you want to know what happened Salami. today? Salami. That's just what I want. Pop, when I tell you what happened... Hey, Nell, what's that? This. Oh, come now, Joe. You know what this is. It's a turkey. Pop, you ought to hear what happened at the network today. That's the most fantastic... that network of yours that I have to work tonight. You know, some darn fool let a line out of one of the studios and all police leaves have been canceled. Joe, you'll be careful. Michael, did you hear that? A lion escaped from your studio today. Why didn't you tell me? It just slipped my mind. <laughs> no, I don't think there's anything to worry about. They say the lion isn't dangerous. Yeah, yeah. They say he's made a couple of movies or something. Oh, Joe, you watch your step with him just the same. A lion is a lion, movie star or not. They probably caught him already. They spotted him about an hour ago in an alley down near Rosetta and Hartford, but he got away. Rosetta and Hartford? But that's only a mile from here. Rosetta and Hartford, that's right in our neighborhood. He could be in our vicinity right now. Pop, I'd like to volunteer right now to capture that beast. I expected this, son, and you didn't disappoint me. You certainly can be a big help to me. Thank you, sir. What can I do first? Just stay home and keep out of my oh, way. Wait a minute, Pop. I Michael, have... you heard your father. Mom, Mom listen... Well, all right, if, if that's what you want. Well, I hate to eat and run now, but I... I don't like that. I'm a, I must have eaten it, not even noticed it. Not too much on my mind, I guess. Goodbye, darling. I'll see you later. Now, Joe, be careful. I will. Michael. Yes, Mom? I'm just going to run this cake over to Mrs. West for the church bake sale. I'll take the car. All right. And uh, I'd rather you didn't go out of the house and try to help your father catch that lion. Now, don't you worry about a thing. You just run on and have a good time. Oh, no, I feel better knowing you have your mind in other things besides that lion. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. All right, Freddie. Granted, granted. So it's a little risky. But think of all the publicity we'll get for the network. Mr. Brown and ourselves. Can't you just see the headlines now? International Broadcasting Company pages capture ferocious land single-handedly. <laughs> uh, I knew you'd like that. Well, listen, we'll get started right away. We'll start our safari right from here. Yeah. Oh, oh and listen, Fred, uh, don't forget to bring over our pit helmets. <laughs> Hurry. Screen door, 36 seconds away. We interrupt this recorded dance music to bring you the latest developments on the lion that escaped from the International Broadcasting Studio early this afternoon. Mr. Charles Brown, vice president in charge of programming, stated an hour ago that this is definitely not a publicity stunt for his new television program, Safari Stan, starring Victor Roberts in his most exciting role. Mr. Brown reminded us that the program may be seen every Saturday night at 8. When asked how the lion escaped, Mr. Brown said it was due to the stupidity of one of his employees. I wonder who it could be. It's about time. Oh, hi, for... Hey, how do I look? Hey, how long have you been in the jungle there, partner? <laughs> who knows? Hey, you've got some swell-looking weapons there. I grabbed what I could off the safari stand show. But we've got to bring them back the first thing in the morning or they'll use them on us. Oh, by that time, we'll have captured the lion. They'll give us anything we want. You know, there's one thing that bothers me, Mick. What's that? Well, after we capture the lion, what are we going to do with him? Hmm. Has your mother got a spare room? Oh, no, no, no. She wouldn't go for that. Why not? Well, she jumps when she sees a mouse. You just solved the problem right there. You take the lion, you get rid of the mice. Uh, look, we'll talk about that later, huh? Let's get a load of this bow, boy. Yeah, what a bow, huh? That's a biggie. Yeah. Uh, uh, you must have the safety on or something, huh? You're not doing it right, man. Not doing it right. I put some oomph in it. Yeah? Now, look, I'll hold it for you here. Yeah. You pull it back. That's right. All right. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Further back. Mm -hmm. Further back. Yeah. That's it. Further back. Yeah. Further back. Yeah. All right. Now, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be more careful. No, I didn't know it was loaded. Well, it was. Hey, get a load of this, Mick. Huh? Oh boy, that's 
That's a big arrow, huh? That's not an arrow, that's a spear. A spear? They didn't have any arrows on this set, but I fixed it. On my way over here, I stopped in at the five and dime and bought these. Now, wait just a minute. You don't think that I would insult a lion by hitting him with one of these rubber-tipped arrows, do you? Oh, gee, Mick, any port in the store. Yeah, and a shield. Buddy, I'm surprised. I don't think that both of us can hide behind it. Hey, come on out to the car and help me with the rest of the stuff. Wait a minute, you've got more stuff in the car? Well, sure. I got a tent out there that's a beaut. A tent? What? Now, what would we be doing with a tent? Well, the lion might not come easy, Mick. We might have to camp out all night. Fred, you're using your head. Hey, Mick, where do you see the sleeping bags? I borrowed from my father. Yeah, we've got everything but the lion. Where in a city of over three million people, where do you begin to look for a lion? The Lions Club? Now, on our last radio communique, the beast was last seen at Angus's filling station at this point. Thought to be going in the direction of Sam's Market at this point. Are there any questions? Ready? Freddy, pay attention. This is important. I'm just checking to see if we put up this tent right. Of course the tent's up right. You know... Oh, gosh, the telephone. Who could be calling? It takes all of the thrill out of an expedition when the phone rings in the middle of a safari. Maybe it's the lion caller to say he'll be a little late. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Oh, Michael, I'm still over here at Mrs. West's house. We just heard a bulletin on the radio. That lion was last seen near Angus's filling station. I don't think it's safe to come home. I'm going to stay here till I catch that animal. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. I'm glad to know that you're safe. <laughs> and, dear, lock all the doors and windows. As long as you stay in the house, you have nothing to fear from that lion. Well, don't worry about me. Everything is fine. <laughs> don't worry. Everything's under control here, dear. Goodbye. Who was that? Mom, always worrying for nothing, the darling. Hey, Mick, are we really going to need this net? Of course, if we expect to capture the beast alive. Yeah, but this is a fish net. I don't know the difference. Oh, we got a point there. Well, this is how I figured we're going to capture We get him cornered down some blind alley. See, we string the net across, then one of us goes in back of the net, shoes him into the net. Wham, but we got him. It's just that simple. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let's, let's go back a little bit. Who goes in to chase out whom? What's the difference whom goes in? Oh, it makes a lot of difference to me, Charlie. Yeah. Well, we'll toss a coin. All right, we'll toss a coin. Wait, wait, wait. Second thought. You can have all the glory. You can go no, get the lion. Fred, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for a million. I would. Well, it's all set. Come on, let's go out and find the lion. Now, now, wait just a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just a minute, Charlie. We need to lure something for bait. The meat. The kitchen. Check. Mom bought a nice leg of lamb that'll be perfect for... Freddy, if you're going to raid the icebox, please close the door. I haven't even been near the refrigerator. Now, wait a minute. There's only two of us in the house, and the finger points at you. <laughs> wait a minute. Where's the lamb, Freddy? Where's the lamb? I don't know. The lamb here. Maybe you ate it for dinner. Yeah, sure. I had it raw. Look, we didn't have lamb tonight. Pop wasn't home, so we had rabbit. You probably ate it. I know your appetite. A whole leg of lamb, and you don't even remember it. Yeah, let me see what I had after the rabbit. I had two pieces of chocolate fudge cake, a piece of pie a la mode. Hey, hey look at the scraps of meat on the floor. Look at that bone over there. Boy, oh boy, are you a sloppy eater. <laughs> What happened to this lamb, Fred? I don't know. Maybe the lion dropped in for a snack. Oh, come on. Don't the be lion sick. dropped in for a snack. <laughs> <laughs> sure, he's, he's probably asleep right now in my bed. <laughs> Listen, Fred, I know what happened to the lamb. Mom sliced it up in little pieces and put it in the freezer in the garage. Hey, let's use the bone for bait. Great idea. And, and if the lion doesn't like the bone, we'll exchange it for him later. <laughs> Hey, Mick, help me take down this tent, will you? Yeah, in a minute. Mick, help me with Wait this, Wait a minute, Fred, you? listen, listen. Are you sure that this bag is big enough for me? It's big enough. It's supposed to fit snug. Yeah, well, don't they have a double bed size? I'm telling you, it's big enough, Mick. I've had this ever since I was in the Cub Scouts. 
Since the Cub Scouts, why, uh, Freddy, you were eight years old then. Look, I'll prove to you that it's big enough. I'll help you get into it. All right. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll try it out. It doesn't look big enough to me. I know, steady. I get a shoehorn or something to get Put me this in. Like this? Yeah. yeah. All right. Wait a minute. Yes, since you were eight years old in the cup. There we are. That fits just like a glove, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I wish it fit like a sleeping bag. It's it's a little tight, a little uncomfortable. Oh, well, no wonder we overlook one detail. Huh? The arms. It's supposed to be outside. Oh, yeah? Well, well, well let's get them out. All right. Hey, just get them out. <clears throat> What's the matter? Uh, the zipper's stuck. Hmm? The what's stuck? The zipper. The zipper's stuck? Yeah. Well, I'm, 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 I'm sticking there. That's right. Get, get me out of here, will you? Want me to get claustrophobia? Uh-oh. Just, huh? What now? I just remembered something. What now? You know why I got washed out of the Cub Scouts? Why? I could never get out of the sleeping bag. <laughs> now you tell me. Look, just get me out of here, would you please, Freddy? You know, for just... the first time in my life, I'm completely stunned. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Don't lose your head, Freddy. Look, just get a knife out of the kitchen, would you? Cut me out of the bag. Just cut me out. Cut you out of the sleeping bag that I've had since I was in the Cub Scouts? What are you, mad? I'm, I'm sorry. Look, just get, get a... Get a pair of pliers out of the kitchen drawer in there. Would you please get me out of here? Well, that's different. I'll be right back. Uh, come back. Oh, don't go away. <laughs> hey, Nick, which drawer is it in? Second drawer on the top, Fred, or, or the third drawer below on the right-hand side. Or, or you might find it on the service porch outside. But hurry, would you please? This is awful uncomfortable. All right, you just relax. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> that's, that's you, isn't it? Isn't it, Fred? <laughs> It is, it is you, is it, Fred? Put your growl on it. Tell me it's you, Fred. How can you how can you be so calm with him stand standing over there by yourself? Huh? Who? Standing where? Lion, by the way. The lion? There's no lion here. Huh? He's not not there. Where, where'd he go? Oh, where'd he go? You're just seeing things, huh? man. You're so anxious to find this lion, you think he's right here in the house. I won't argue with you. Just get me out of here. What do you, I tell you, there's a lion in the house, Freddy. <laughs> oh. What are you laughing at? Oh, boy, are you funny. What are you laughing at? What are you, <laughs> just get me out of here. Never I mind. I'm going to go home and get my camera. You're the funniest. Look, oh, what steady you boy, steady boy. Don't start dancing now. Please. You're in no condition. Please, when you're done, it's ready. Just get me out of here. I tell you, there's a lion in the house. Nay, uh, be sensible. Oh, I am. It's impossible for a lion to be in a house. <laughs> You see, it's just like I said, Nick. There's no lion in here either. Yeah, I distinctly heard a lion's roar. He's got to be in the house somewhere. Ah, uh, it was probably just a car backfire. Push, don't push. Car backfiring, eh? This is no time for wishful thinking, Fred. I mean, let, let's face it, Nick. Space was, Fred. Well, lions just don't disappear in thin air. We just let our imaginations run away with us, that's all. You fooling around, right? Hmm? Don't don't fool around, man. Don't fool around. You're nervous, you're all upset. Me fooling around. What's the matter with you? Look, let's be rational about this thing. If there was a lion here, he certainly would have eaten us up by now. Let's not be that rational. Hey, Nick, Why are you fool? Hey, look, you got a you got a bad habit of leaving things lying around, Nick. What do you mean? Well, like the sash to your bathrobe. Is this a place to leave the sash to your bathrobe? That's bath no sash to my bed. <laughs> this 
sure the lion is in there, Nick? Of course he's in there. We saw him go in, didn't we, after he chased us out of the bedroom? Yeah, but that's a sneaky lion. He might not be in there now. He's in there now, I tell you. We've got him trapped. I tell you, we've got a lion cornered in there. Well, then why don't we call up the police and have them come and get him out of here? Wait a minute. And have them get all the credit, all the glory? I should say not, Frank. Your father's not going to like this, Nick. Of course he's going to like it. The fact that we didn't have to call him to have him come over and help us capture the little old lion. It isn't a little old lion. It's a big old lion. Well, never mind about that. I think the net is all up and we're, we're ready. Yeah, but do you think it'll hold up for us? I'm positive. I saw it work in a movie once. You see, they put the net up, somebody goes in there and shoes the lion out, he comes flying through the door, tangles himself in the net, and bingo, we got ourselves a lion. Bingo, huh? Yeah. What if the lion doesn't bingo? What if this net doesn't bingo? Wait a minute. What if... Wait, Fred. Fred, you're fighting this whole thing. You're fighting it, do you know that? Look, the, the worst is in back of us. It's past. Understand? It's clear sailing from here on. Yeah? Yes. Okay, you convince me, Mick. Good luck. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Not so, not so fast. Now, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, answer me a question. What? Sure you don't want to go in there? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to butt in, Mick. Yeah, well, well, you know, sometimes I question your integrity. Give me the flashlight. Flashlight? Yeah. Well, why don't you just turn the lights on? You can see better than with a flashlight. I tell you, in the movie I saw, the hero turned his flashlight into the beast's eyes, and it confused him. Hey. Oh, okay. You're the boss, Mick. Go to it, kid. Yeah. Oh, and uh, be careful, will you? You're the best doubles partner I ever played tennis with. <laughs> Look, Fred, now when I start yelling, you open that door. Oh, I will. You open it. I will. You open it? Okay. <laughs> What a relief. Where's Mickey? He's in there with the lion. What? Shh. Not, not so loud. You're liable to scare the lion, and that would be the end of everything, including Mickey. Freddie, just what lion is Mickey in there with? Just a lion. What difference does it make? Oh, yes, but it... Gee, it's, it's awfully quiet in there. Hey, Mickey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I, I, I can hear him breathing. I, I can't find him yet, though. He's in... Oh, wow, he's, he's in the bathtub. Mickey and I can have you going crazy and come out of there this minute. Now open the door, Fred. Open the door. Open the door. Oh, my Mickey. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mr. Brown, are you in, sir? Uh, Mr. Brown isn't here, but I am. Who are you? I'm Mickey Roo. Well, here's the big wild game, Hunter. Oh, hi, Pat. I just came over to see Mr. Brown and see if he wanted to congratulate Freddie and me for capturing the lion and giving a lot of good publicity to the network and the Safari Stand Show. I don't want any congratulations. It was all in the line of duty. Yeah. Of course, a bonus would be nice. Say, aren't you fellas forgetting something? You didn't exactly capture the lion. It took six policemen and the trainer to coax him out of the bathroom back into his cage. Who went into the bathroom alone, unarmed, and shoot him out into the net? I wouldn't bring that up if I were you. When I rushed over to your house last night to warn you the lion was in your neighborhood, I didn't expect to find you playing hide-and-go-seek with him. Now, if the police would have let me handle the beast in my own way, we wouldn't have needed a cage, and I'd have gotten him into the net on the second try. Sure, the first try you were just showing the lion how it was done, right, Nick? <laughs> Let's face it, Freddy, I had that lion eating right out of the palm of my hand. There are some folks who can handle wild animals and some who just can't handle them. I'm one of those fortunate people that can handle them. I... 
Yes, the reason that I can handle wild animals so well is because I don't become panicky at the sight of them. Those are the wonderful people that'll be bringing you our next show. Be with us then, won't you, friends? Gosh, isn't he a cute little lion cub? He thinks I'm his papa. Good night, friends.